Manchester has a strong tradition of upholding the liberal arts and valuing the humanities and art is a very powerful tool for doing that, for making connections with people and it's been one of the ways that we've been trying to unify the campuses, to, to, to build a connection. We're installing a sculpture at the College of Pharmacy at Manchester which is a continuation of the sculpture we did in 2006 on the main campus in the Science Building. This week we're doing the final assembly of the parts which were fabricated in different locations. This particular piece just has a lot going for it if you think about it in terms of its structure, how much planning and precision goes into it, and at the same time you get a result that is sort of magical, miracle. The theme of this is about this duality between this rational component and then the spontaneous element. And it's that, that duality that really comprises what an education is about. The dualities are um, something that's rational, which is what the, the metal components are. Um, they're geometric forms. They're connected with these um, the really elegant hardware. And then weaving throughout the, each of these elements are uh, these colored components that um, have an unusual characteristic of uh, changing color when you view them from different directions and casting colors in different directions with the light. I know a lot of people will come in thinking that, oh, how lucky that it, you know, it uses the light as opposed to, oh no, the artist thought of it that way. We have two sculptures by Ken. Um, they both use similar materials. They're both a little similar in form, but I think what makes them especially powerful is that they're unique. They're both different. Similar enough, but different enough. And that captures the spirit of the two campuses well. Two different animals, but of the same university. And so I think there's a very powerful metaphor that happens visually with the work. 